Hello, my name is Valerie Tate. I'm a regional agronomy specialist for University of Missouri Extension. In order to ensure the success of your crop, lawn, or garden, it's important to test the soil. To do that, you need a good sample. A good soil sample is one that accurately represents the soil fertility in the area where the sample is collected. The goal is to minimize variability in the sample. Therefore, it is important to consider any natural and man-made variations which can significantly impact the results of the laboratory analysis of the soil. Evaluate the area to be sampled and determine how many samples should be collected. One soil sample should not represent more than 20 acres. Natural differences in soil type and topography can influence soil fertility. One field may include hilltops, side slopes, and wet, low-lying areas. These different areas should be sampled separately. Differences in cropping history and previous fertilizer applications should also be considered as these activities can significantly impact soil fertility. Nutrient hot spots should also be avoided. These occur around old homesteads, fence lines, and in pastures around watering points and near shade trees. If you're sampling a field where animals have been grazing, you want to avoid sampling near trees because the animals congregate there and deposit nutrients in their manure. That will then skew the soil test results. A sample collected at less than six inches depth can have an increased concentration of nutrients. A sample collected at depths greater than six inches may show that the concentration of nutrients in the soil are diluted. The process of soil sampling is basically the same whether you are collecting a sample in a crop or hay field, or a pasture, or a lawn or garden. The only difference is the form used when submitting the sample to the University of Missouri Extension Soil Testing Laboratory. MU Extension Soil Testing Lab is unbiased and we provide research-based recommendation for our clients. We also stand by quality assurance of the data what we provide. We use state-of-the-art technology and we have highly trained, highly skilled lab technicians working to do the analysis to get the numbers right. Tools for the job include a soil sampling probe or auger and a clean plastic bucket. Do not use a metal bucket as the metal can contaminate the sample. You'll also need a box or bag for the sample. Most MU Extension offices can provide a box and can lend you a probe for collecting the sample. You can also use a spade or shovel to collect the sample, but this is not the preferred method. Walking the field in a zigzag pattern is a good way to collect a random sample. This helps avoid fertilizer application overlaps and skips, and decreases the chances that the sample will be skewed by the fertility of one location or event. Soil is so variable, so unless you take minimum of 15 to 20 cores, from every 20 acres, you're not going to be able to capture the average value of that field. Push the probe six inches deep into the soil to collect the sample. For each sample, collect a minimum of 15 to 20 soil cores from random locations in the field and place them in the bucket. Remove any debris from the sample, including rocks, roots, leaves, and grass. Thoroughly mix the sample and place approximately one pint of soil in the sample box or bag. The sample is ready to be submitted to the MU Extension Soil Testing Laboratory for analysis. You should have the results in about four to five working days. It's important for the client to fill all the information, what we need, in order to give the right recommendations. So if they don't choose the crop what they want to grow, then we wouldn't know what recommendations to give. We make sure that we are providing the educational information what the farmer needs to manage his fields properly. So there is no under-application or over-application and they can maximize yields by following the recommendations. Now you have valuable information that can be crucial to the successful management of your field, lawn or garden. I think you'll find the time and effort spent to collect a good soil sample to be well worth it. Just remember, the results you get are only as good as the sample you collect. 